play viewers I've received an unexpected surprise not totally unexpected but this has never happened before and I was coming along and that's the direction I was headed in this is the direction I was coming from so I went underneath the I went underneath the 128 bridge into Gloucester here's the red buoy on my right like it should be and I was wondering why are those boats stopped in front of me well come to find out I'm stopped too so there's three of us. The, uh, the third boat's in front of that, that one and one we're seeing right now. So stuck in the mud at low tide. So it's going to be an hour or so before the, uh, the water comes up enough to, to go ahead. I think all I need to do is to get up to this, uh, this next green one. Then it should be better. And in fact, I, I've put out my anchor. I hope the signal's good. I put out my anchor chain and the bow of the boat is starting to blow away a little bit. It's the, the chain's tightening up. So that means I'm, I'm starting to float a little more. I got stopped in the mud and then I went to full power and crept ahead another uh, 20 feet or 30 feet. And that's all she wrote. And then I really got stuck. But low tide has just happened. Yeah, oops is right. Low tide is, I hope, hopefully my signal's good. I did a speed test and it was a little iffy. Um, so low tide just happened and I'm already floating a little bit better than before so for sure in an hour I'll be in uh, better shape the boat in front of me uh, draws four and a half feet and I draw five and I yelled up to him and said to put an anchor out because I'm already I put my anchor out and I'm already pulling on it so so that's a good sign in the meantime, I get to do this, this scope. It's not often I can scope from the boat because uh, I'm back in the cockpit and it's all enclosed. But look how, look, how sh look how small this channel is. These boats are in the shallows. Well, I'm in the shallows too, even though I'm in the channel. This is, uh, this is not the spot I thought I'd have trouble in. I usually have had luck here. And it's where I came from. Let me climb up a little bit. You can't see it, but there's a different color of water. You know, this is this is the darker color where I am. And over toward the shoals, it's the lighter color. I've never had trouble here before at low tide. So obviously it's, it's filled in. I didn't come through here last spring. I tried to, but the bridge, which we haven't, I haven't gotten up to yet, the bridge into Gloucester was under uh, construction, under maintenance. So I couldn't go. I had to go out and go back around. So I don't know if it was shallow or not. So the guy in front of me, uh, he says he's from, uh, says it's from, the back of his boat says he's from nearby, but he got nervous and called for a tow. All you have to do is plenty of time. It's only early afternoon. Wait, wait an hour. I'm already, uh, already pulling on my anchor chain. I've only been here 15 minutes. Uh, no, I was not on the, I, I'm on, the, on my way away from the boatyard, Paul. I was in the boatyard and of the uh, two projects that I had a, an appointment with them for them to do, I canceled one and the other one they couldn't get to. So my time actually on the on land was, was much shorter than, than had been planned, but I did paint the bottom and replaced three zincs and greased the through hulls. So all is, all is good. Then of course we had the hurricane, Paul, so I I left the boat. Yeah, well, <laughs> I'm trying to be southbound. A uh, little snag here, but yeah, today is my first day of, of headed south, or thereabouts. So the boat maintenance didn't take, take too long. This is the uh, Route 128 bridge that takes you into Gloucester. And up ahead of me, after that sharp left turn, there's the Amtrak train bridge which is being rebuilt and that will be done in about 13 months and then there's the Blumen Bridge which is uh, very busy and it's low tide so it's going to be a very narrow channel uh, they have a rule that the boats in the river where I am get to go first otherwise it would be bumper boats if boats coming from the harbor try to squeeze by and people aren't maneuvering too well there's also a busy boat ramp up there so it's a little bit of a, a crazy scene well, my boat's swinging in the breeze, so I'm starting to float a little bit, even though I've only been here a few minutes. 
that's a good sign but I did uh, I did put my anchor out I had 20 feet out just barely enough to do something let's go down and see what's happening and it's and it's pulling on the chain and I hope the guy in front of me put his anchor out because otherwise he'll just end up blowing into the shallows as the water comes up and he'll never uh, never get into deep water so that's today's little bit of excitement ah oh. And you can see it's a nice day, short sleeve shirt. Uh, Paul, if you're still there. Oh, where am I going to stop tonight? I'm, I'm a mile and a half from my destination. I'm, we're, all three of us are going to Gloucester Harbor. And uh, hopefully there's enough room for all of us to anchor because who knows who's there already. All right, here's something interesting. There's a fishing boat coming along. So in a few minutes... We'll see what happens with him. I'm assuming he's, he's going to go through. You can see him coming up. Maybe you can see him, just a little speck on the other side of the bridge. This channel is extremely windy in this section. And uh, obviously it's not deep like it used to be. I used to carry five feet without too much trouble used to be a low tide, it used to be six, and now it's uh, less than five. So the guy in front of me draws four and a half and he's stuck. Uh, the boat in front of him is, is actually doing something. So the water's come up a little bit and that guy is, 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 if he knew what he was doing, he'd be good to go. But when I see motorboats aground, that usually means I'm doomed. Let's see how he does. See, he, he, I don't think either of them know what to do. The deeper water is over by that, that cylind, the cylinder, uh, metal cylinder with the green on it, which you probably can't see too well because of the sun. So he's going. If this boat in front of me goes, then that gives me, a, gives me hope, because he draws four and a half and I need five. He's got his engine running, so, so they have a lot more power than I do. I might give it a try in a, in a few minutes. If this guy can go and get out of the way, then that gives me hope. So keep an eye on him. If he didn't put an anchor out, though, he's in trouble. Let's see what this uh, fishing boat does. Oh, oh, so wait, wait, there's more developments. This boat in front of me is, is backing up. They have a lot more, more power, so they can do that. There's going to be a little problem when that fishing boat comes along and needs to get by. There won't be much room. So this guy has a, a strong motor and a bow thruster, so he can just pivot right around. Let's see how he does. If he can get through, then, then there's hope for me. And here comes the fishing boat. He'll have to figure out what to do next. Exciting times! Well, yeah, that's a good point, Scott. See, now this guy's going to the right, when he really should be going to the left. So I, I know this, this channel. And the deeper water is right around that green. He's taking... Yeah, I hear some chatter on the radio. So that guy's too far to the right. Got to go over toward that green. And then what we're waiting for is here comes the fishing boat. Probably wondering why I'm smack in the middle of, of things. Well, I'm one of the boats and one got free. And the third one is, is he made some progress, but then he's gotten stuck again. He's running his motor hard, turning a little bit, turning a little bit and not making it. He draws four and a half and I draw five, so I don't have a chance yet. He's really putting the power to it trying to push through. Good luck to him. And here's the fishing boat coming up. And we'll see what he does. He 
See if he gets stuck too. Hopefully not. I don't want to have anyone getting stuck next to me. Now that motorboat in front of me has pushed through the mud, gotten, gotten clear. See, this guy's just sliding through. He knows what's what. Let's see how he does. No wave. Nope, no wave. He's probably a little irritated that I'm stuck in the mud, blocking his, his passage. But the local, this is the thing, this is a boat from nearby, from, from this area, so he knows how to keep out of uh, trouble. So right off to the side there, like I told that guy in front of me who didn't, didn't listen. Yeah, I'm stuck. Well, I've started to float a little bit. And if I started to go, I'll probably get stuck in, a, in 100 feet. I'm one of those goofy boaters. So let's see how this motorboat, this fishing boat does. All right, well, everyone's creeping along. I might as well put the anchor up and, uh, and see what happens. So everyone, thanks for uh, hanging out for a little bit. And the fishing boat now is almost stopped because the boat in front is going very cautiously. So I'm gonna pull my anchor up, see if I can go. If not, I'll just be stuck. Uh, very farther ahead. No, I can't keep you on the stream. Yeah, I have I have moved a little bit. I put the anchor down half an hour ago and I've been, you know, just went down straight. And now I'm swinging around a little bit. So if I, I'll try that track this fishing boat just took and uh, see how we do. But the people in front seem to be uh, going awfully slowly. All right, so I can't keep you on the stream. I'm gonna be back here. Well, it's the, because I'm stuck, the tide's coming up. It's complete, it was completely low tide when I got stuck, and the tide's rising. And in six hours, the tide will be 10 or 12 feet higher than it is now. So all I need is a, a few inches, then I'll be floating. And if you float up and you don't have your anchor, then you end up floating into the shallows again. So that's no good. So everyone, thanks for keeping me company. And I'm going to give it a try and see, see how we do. See you all next time.